Take Show Man, everybody. Lewis, I can't help. Yeah, yeah. Keen-eyed, keen-eyed observers of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert might notice that you have a, a, a guest musician in the band tonight. Who's joining us this evening? That's right, we've got the legendary Chris Ott on trombone. Hey. Thank you, Chris. Uh, other people joining us this evening is uh, really one man who counts for many men. He is so manly. His, <laughs> his, his name, you know him, you love him. Mm -hmm. His name is Josh Brolin, everybody. Ooh. He'll be here. Right there. <laughs> Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there in the news workshop pulling together the day's finest story, copper, steel, and brass, from which I handcraft the most topical thermal hull, then add 14,500 BTU power gas burners and rock grill and grand vaulted oven and Arch Deco inspired bezels and toe kick to build for you the Ferris Rafuli designed Chateau Supreme Grand Palais du Cornu Gas Range. That is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, while well, I'm feeling, you know, I'm fleeing away from the triad gangs after stealing their cocaine submarine, which I crash into a garbage island in the Pacific, I dig a hole and fill it with discarded ramen cups, all my clothes, and whatever was left of the tank of a broken diesel leaf. Blower, and then light up the groundwater poisoning burn pit of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, it's an oxygen tank. It's an oxygen tank. It's an air conditioner for the mind. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> New York City subway surfers were recently caught having sex on top of a moving MTA train. Well, I certainly hope they both got off at the same stop. <laughs> can I just say, can I just say, let me just say something. This is important. I want all the kids to hear this. That's incredibly stupid, and don't do that. But also, wow. <laughs> Being able to perform while hurtling above queens with your ass hanging in the wind is impressive. Many men have trouble maintaining focus if the dog's watching. <laughs> Meanwhile, Apple is warning customers not to put wet iPhones in rice. They are instead encouraging users to put their wet iPhones in Apple's new $1,200 accessory, rice. <laughs> no. Mm. Need a different charge cable for every grain, though. In other cell phone news, experts are now saying that you don't need to use airplane mode on airplanes after all. Oh, what a relief. Because whenever I fly, I totally always put my phone on airplane mode. I have to so I can hear every word of the safety demonstration. Tell me how this seatbelt device works again. So there are exit rows in front and behind me? News you can use. Apparently, they've known for 20 years that airplane mode doesn't do jack. But they still ask us to turn off our phones because airlines think people won't stop yapping on their cell phones during flights, leading to more instances of air rage. You know what else leads to instances of air rage? Being told that a transparently stupid and inconvenient rule is for our safety, but it, by an industry who cannot keep the doors on. <laughs> so. Sorry for the language. Meanwhile, as many of you know, we are smack dab in the middle of Lent, the 40-day period before Easter, when many Christians give up meat and reflect on their faith by staring at your burger in a way that makes you very uncomfortable. <laughs> well, according to Lent researchers over at Food & Wine magazine, eating alligator, beaver, and capybara are all okay for Lent because alligator is considered in the fish family, and we can eat beaver meat since they swim a lot in rivers. <laughs> along with capybara. We're getting pretty loosey-goosey with the rules there, aren't we, Catholic Church? <laughs> well, look at that. The neighbor's kid won the swim meet. Do we have any barbecue sauce? <laughs> Gonna eat the neighbor's kid in that joke. <laughs> Meanwhile, stingray experts were surprised to find that Charlotte, a stingray with no male companion, is pregnant. Amazing, but... Not the most scandalous sex news about an animal named Charlotte. We all remember that controversial scene from Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Experts think this pregnancy may be the result of something called parthenogenesis, 
which is a type of asexual reproduction in which there is no genetic contribution by a male, or what many women refer to as best-case scenario. <laughs> Meanwhile, really? Parthenogenesis. Meanwhile, KFC, the world's finest purveyors of food by the bucket, the chicken chain is rolling out the Chitza, a fried chicken and pizza hybrid that features two white meat extra crispy fried chicken fillets with marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. Well, this is clearly an irresponsible and bald faced publicity stunt to get someone like me to eat it on TV. And I'm in. Here goes. Mm, 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 mm. That is unusual, but good. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it. It's like if a chicken had sex with a pizza on top of a New York City subway train. <laughs> we'll be right back with Josh Brolin.